first of all, uh, it's a very sad day, obviously, for Indian cricket, and uh, I think uh, he's been my idol since uh, I've I've started playing cricket. Uh, the greatest thing I can recollect about him is probably the fact that me and him uh, made uh, our international debuts on the same day, uh, same day probably 15 years ago for him. Mine was in 2011. Uh, I just like to wish him uh, all the best for whatever uh, future endeavors he wants to take up in life, and uh, that's it. Uh, I think basically uh, he's he's been he's been the greatest uh, one of the greatest batsmen that uh, India has ever produced, and uh, actually we should uh, we should all be proud that I'm proud that he's he's been from India, and I've I've played uh, alongside uh, with him. I'm really proud of that as well. And yeah, he's been my idol sort of thing. Not not only not only from now. I think uh, even the days when I go back to my college days in Gurunana College, where he used to come and practice. So that is that is the moment that I first that I saw him. And uh, from then on, I think he's the is he's just his work ethic and his professionalism, whatever he does on and off the field, is uh, he's been a tremendous influence. And I've learned a lot from him. Uh, just sharing the dressing room with him. And uh, yeah, I think hope I hope I just want to wish him luck for the rest of his life and uh, whatever he wants to do in his life. And uh, I think I should say that he has uh, served Indian cricket really well and uh, the game will surely miss him. No, I don't know, have any special experiences but I think I have learned, learned a lot from him. I think he was the one guy whom I used to talk a lot whenever he was in the, uh, in the, in the national side. Yeah, I spent a lot of time with him uh, on and off the field and tried to learn from him uh, whatever I can because uh, we both were in a sort of similar modes uh, when I was playing earlier. So I think it's, it's just that I've, uh, I've learned a lot from him and uh, basically because the, the, the style of cricket that we play, I think it's, uh, uh, that's it. In whatever way one can with the product one is working on with a sport such as cricket which has the coverage across the country. Uh, CSK, as we all know, is one of the strongest brands in, uh, in the IPL today. Uh, all the players are very, very iconic. Uh, the fact that they are a twice defending champion is just proof of all of the above. Um, and uh, Chandrapan here was sharing a lot of different numbers of fan following, uh, presence on the internet, and how you know around the world uh, IPL is followed and CSK in particular is followed. So for us, um, we represent the growers. Our organization represents the growers uh, and shippers of apples in the state of Washington. Uh, we are one of the strong, very, very strong exporters of apples in the world. Um, and um, our apples are sold in more than 50 different markets around the world. And it's really um, wonderful that uh, in the past, less than in about 10 years or so, we have now become, well, last year we were actually the number three market in the world. So uh, we have similar momentum. In fact, we are even... 17-18% uh, higher so far in the current shipping year and we again look to hold on to the number three position and when I say number three I really kid with my clients and other competing markets we really say we are number one because the first and second market are Canada and Mexico which in our in our opinion is not really export markets so it's just all kidding aside I mean it's the importance that India is playing in the US and India relations um, uh, trade is a wonderful thing uh, it's not only the goods that are moving, but at the same time, we see people from here traveling to Washington to look at the orchards, to look at the packaging, and we and that's the message we want to want to bring that the small family-held farms and growers in Washington who don't understand cricket, it has taken us two years to convince them to the following story: why cricket, why IPL, and why CSK. So we had to go through three levels of understanding to convince them to spare the funds for such a major event. And I, I really want to underline it's a very, very big commitment on the part of uh, you know a, a generic commodity group to come up with such an effort. We are supported by the U.S. Department of Agriculture in this kind of uh, export promotion work, and we are really, really privileged that we can be part of this partnership. So I'll leave it at that, and we'll take questions later. Thanks, Dr. I would uh, really like to say that uh, we are really delighted to have Washington Apple as a partner. Uh, I see a lot of synergies in terms of uh, what they represent and what we represent. For a team which has been winning, uh, we are very focused on winning and also we want to emphasize again and again healthy lifestyle is extremely important because not only in a healthy body a healthy mind decides. Besides that, also, I mean, I keep on saying this, that, you know, cricket in this country represents the diversity of this country. It's an extremely democratic game. You know, right from people from, you know, 
born in Mumbai to the you know non mofasal towns of India, you have all kind of players. Players who have not even seen a train before they represent India today. So we hope that uh, this synergy, what we have forged together, is translated down the ground, and people see both of us, Chennai Super Kings as well as Washington Apples, for the values we share, which is fitness, health. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, firstly, I think um, it's great to be associated with um, Washington Apples. Uh, I don't know if this happened before, uh, uh, a sporting team getting associated with a fruit. Uh, but yeah, basically I'm a fruit lover and Apple is top priority. Um, I hope there are a lot, lots of apples lying around in the dressing room, like you said, uh, for us to eat. And yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to be associated with CSK and with Washington Apples and uh, hope uh, it's a long journey ahead. Thank you. Uh, I'd just like to say the brand of IPL and Chennai Super Kings is that big that someone from America wants to come down and have an association with us. I'm just very proud to be a part of uh, the Chennai Super Kings team. And uh, I'd just like to say I'm not a fruit lover like Badri here. In fact, I just hate apples. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm being associated with uh, Washington Apples. My mom and me had a laugh yesterday. But uh, that's how it goes. Uh, in fact, when people eat apples at home, I move away. That's how bad I am. So I think I'll be having a few uh, good problems, I guess, in the dressing room this year. But I'd like to take that. Thank you. Um, basically, um, we, last, uh, we go by the crop year, which is a September to August crop year. So the 2010-11 crop year, uh, we sold, we sent about three and a half million, about 70, 70,000 tons of, um, of apples, um, which is quite small if you take the overall consumption in India, but it's still 3,500 containers, that's a lot of apples. They all come in refrigerated containers. Um, we get different varieties into, into India. We dominated by one variety, Red Delicious, but we do get three, four other varieties fairly commonly during the year. I would say over the past 10 years, we average over 20% every year. <clears throat> but in a, uh, whenever you deal with a perishable good like an apple, you're at the mercy of nature. So it, it's a function of what your crop is like, what the sizes are like, what the variety, you know, a different variety can have different production, the sizes, so certain markets like certain sizes. We average over 20%, but in a given year it could be 40, in a given year it could be only 10, but we do grow every year. Um, we ship, uh, Washington, as of three years ago, ships all 52 weeks in the year um, into India. Um, uh, there's not that many markets that do that, so it's a very important market. It's a, and another good part to it is it's a very premium market, relatively speaking high quality fruit comes into the Indian market so it's a very well respected market um, for our shippers it's a very highly regarded and well valued market the freshness um, I would like to emphasize it starts from the apple itself on the tree so we have the nature we have the water we have the temperature we have the soil which makes the apple really good and more importantly we have the cultural practices the post the horticultural practices to grow a really really good apple been growing apples for over a hundred years, so really know how to grow a very, very good apple. Then comes the technology of how to harvest it, how to keep it cool, and how to make it travel the distance that it travels. It's going to be on a, on a boat for more than 30 days, but the trick is to keep it as fresh as you can, so that you can have the crunchiest, the juiciest, and the tastiest apple that you can eat. And that's what Washington is known for around the world that you know, they will get an apple which is as close to fresh picked off the tree. I mean, that's what we challenge. That, that's the challenge we always face, that it needs to be crunchy, juicy, absolutely fresh off the tree. What about the wax coating? The, the wax coating, it's an edible wax coating which is approved not just by government of India but around the world. Um, it's a composition of different uh, natural products which is coated on. Basically what it does is it, it, it reduces the respiration by reducing the respiration and a combination of keeping the temperature very, very low, close to zero, you are, um, you are retarding the delay because naturally every fruit is a living organism which breathes. So by controlling the respiration and keeping the temperature low, you prevent decay.
So that's all it does. So you can wash it off or you don't need to wash it off. It's 100% edible. I eat it like that. Most people I know eat it like that. People have a question, but it's up to people how they want it. They can wash it. They can eat it right off. It doesn't matter. Even, in fact, I got to tell you, even this little sticker on here, edible. <laughs> I don't eat it myself personally, but I'm saying by mistake, a small bit goes in your mouth. You don't need to throw up to get it out. It's no problem at all. Even those are all edible grade.